I don't want you to think there are only five. There are five teams that were known by our government to have been hunting Trump pre-Butler. That may be a very different number today. Matter of fact, that number could have could have increased or shrunk, right? For all we know, by today, they've neutralized uh, one of the teams or one of the individuals involved in these efforts. But to hear that one of them is Ukrainian, and then you see this guy show up, who, by the way, was on the radar of Homeland Security investigations, because when he enters the country, the very smart and astute folks at Customs and Border Patrol, think about that, your Customs and Border Patrol, your agency has been totally overrun, you're exhausted, and yet they have the wherewithal to say, this doesn't make sense. This guy's been all over the world, and now he's saying he's a freedom fighter recruiting people. And when we ask him a reasonable question, who's funding your efforts to like recruit people from Taiwan and Afghanistan to go fight in Ukraine, Iran. who's, who's yeah. funding that? And the answer is, oh, my wife's paying for it. Like that story didn't exactly check out. Like You and I both have very successful wives that we're very proud of, but I don't think they'd pay for a hobby quite like this. And so when that goes to HSI, no activity, no action, no review. And now it emerges that one of the teams we knew about hunting Trump ha had a Ukraine connection.